Does this beanie make me look homeless? I feel like I'm like not matching whatsoever. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's beanie season already. Ah! It's October, like mid-October, and it's already getting very cold. And I think even in parts of Japan, it's already snowing, so... I'm kind of not looking forward to the snow um, You know, it's been it was years that I hadn't seen snow and last year I Had to deal with snow and I'm like, okay, it's 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 enough um, I wanted to make a quick video about Some of the differences that I like really notice from the states compared to uh, Here in Japan, there's a lot of things I feel like I'm gonna be more culture shock going back to the States than I was when I arrived here. If that makes any sense. I had mentioned this before, I think one of the biggest things that I noticed immediately was the fact that they don't have trash cans. And I mentioned this in a previous video, but they, yeah, that's like one of one of the biggest things that like kind of bothers me because as a mother, I have to like have all these snacks and stuff and like when I'm on the go, I want to get rid of it and I can't because there's no trash cans. And the only trash cans that they do have usually are right next to the vending machines and those are all recycling ones. So you basically buy your drink and then you drink it and then you put it in the recycling bin right after. So there's not really any like trash cans available on the streets. Another thing that I've like noticed a lot and I know for like, for me it's not as like crazy, but I know back in the States you will never see this. You will never see a man carrying a purse. Okay, some of them are man purses or whatever, like satchels or whatever you call them. But no, there's like legit guys that carry purses. Like I've seen women with them and I see men with them. And they're like big old purses. One thing that you will never see is someone blowing their nose in public. You can see them like sniffling and even hearing them like sniff. You will never hear them blow their nose in public. I have been on the trains and I've never, since I've been here, I've never seen anyone do that. And apparently it's kind of like a culture thing, like it's kind of disrespectful uh, to do that. So if you're coming to Japan, <laughs> just remember don't blow your nose in public. You know what I think is so funny is that here they make pillows in the shape of women's lap and and that's supposed to like soothe you in some way but yeah I just think it's a little creepy I would totally buy one for like a joke and like as a gift to someone but for someone that's like legit buying that for them it's kind of creepy I'm just saying So here in Japan it's also really common to see Japanese men and women go drink with their bosses. Um, I've seen it actually a few times that I've gone out uh, with friends like at night and I'm on the trains and stuff. Um, it's so weird and sometimes like you'll see them midnight and they're still in their suits and they go to work the next day in the same outfit, drunk or hungover. But it's actually really common to see that. The Japanese community are very big on alcohol. It's also uh, not illegal to drink out in public. So I had to take off the hat and the jacket. It's getting a little hot in here because I'm inside, but outside it's already like, I don't know, in the 60s and it literally was like day and night. It was one day it was really hot, the next day it was like cold. So there's really not much of like the fall feel. Um, that's one thing I've noticed. Spring is really nice because it, it feels like it lasts a little longer, but this this transition from like the summer to winter just was really fast, like really fast. <laughs> so I wanted to share that with you guys. I thought it'd be fun to kind of throw out some facts and things that I've learned while I've been here in Japan. I'm always learning about different things that I wouldn't normally see in the States. Um, compared to here in Japan. Let me know in the comments below if you have experienced anything here in Japan that you thought was crazy and weird that you've never seen where you're from. I will see you in my next one. Peace!